Hello everyone, it's Vlogmas Day 4. As I said, I'm back to work today. Um, gotta drop the kids back off, uh, drop off at school. Uh, luckily, all the snow's melted, which is really good because the car I drive isn't the car you've seen in near enough any other video, I don't think. It's a little a little blue car I've got. And um, I don't think I'd make it in the snow, but look, sounds bad, but luckily it rained most of the night at all snow, apart from the odd bits where snowmen's were built. It's gone, which is fucking, it's great, it's great. So yeah, gonna get to work, uh, get everything sorted, get all the admin back in order, and I'll see you on my lunch break for a little chat. Enjoy your coffee, we have a good start to the day, like, comment, subscribe. See you all at lunch. There we go. Uh, I've just I managed to not record a video at all at lunchtime. I was actually that busy over lunch. I didn't even have one. I just kind of worked through it. But yeah, this question's been sent in a few times now on Instagram and a couple actually on Twitter, which is very good. Socials you can find down below, all that good stuff. And it's what I intend to do after military life. And it's something that in every video I've said, like when I was in the army. If you're not going to do a full-term career, like you hold 24 years, your lifetime to work towards your pension, you look at any military service as a stepping stone, a CV builder, however you want to, however you want to put it. And it is, I'm looking into doing some work um, regarding either project management or health and safety. I enjoyed doing health safety when I was in Lozzy, so I worked on the QSIT team, so quality control insurance team. And I actually enjoyed it. I enjoyed getting them little, like, nitpicky details and working out what to do and what protocol to follow. And it felt very worthwhile to me, which is really strange. I thought I wouldn't enjoy that sort of job, considering I worked in cyber for so many years in the army, and then transferred to do a job completely different, like... I wouldn't even class the QCIT as cyber, or the quality control, that one. I wouldn't even consider that cyber, I'd consider that more of like a custodian role sort of thing, like working with the health and safety team, working with the CI team, the continuous improvement team. I really enjoyed it. And looking at it now, if I could find a job like that in the civil street, which I've been looking at, I've been looking on Indeed, LinkedIn, monster.com I think it's called the like the job recruitment sites just like gauging where the work is what the average like pay is what the days work are like what you sort of need to get there and pay is starting from like I think I think the lowest I found for a health and safety representative in a decent company you're looking about 42 to 45 grand starting so that's like near the 15 grand more than what I'm on now and it's it's one of them, so I think it will be a good job to have without the bad things of military life, like the the getting moved about, the panic of getting deployed, the, the random courses you go on. It's missing out on them things, which that I think oh that would help my family more. The stability is the word I'm looking for. The stability of civilian life rather than military. The the worry of it is crazy. Not looking at it, the worry of like what to do. But even now, I'm in I'm in the military serving. I've done almost ten years, and I still worry how I'm going to pay my bills each month. It's 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 mad. It's crazy how someone on this position has to worry about how to survive. It's it's crazy, and then you look at people doing simple jobs but in civvy street and they're getting paid like 10 grand more than me i'm like how 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 is this a thing but obviously the army does come with the army and raf navy they all come with their benefits you get the health care literally on the doorstep appointment whenever you need it free physio free this free that different discounts here there and everywhere but once again it doesn't give you that stability so obviously i was looking at mpgs uh, that's going to fall through now, most likely. So, and once again, I've jumped back onto the stepping stones and I'm looking for my next route. Um, 
We'll see how things go. And once again, I'll keep you updated. I get this isn't a very Christmassy video log, and it's kind of a bit of a depressing video to say the least. But you know me, I'm always honest, keep you up to date with everything. And yeah, help. Any advice is great. But yeah, it's been King Slough. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you all tomorrow for the next video. Good bit.